Today we have the, uh, whatever today is, the April 30th, patch notes, and it starts off right away. We do have an Orisa nerf. Fortify. Duration reduced from 4.5 to 3.5 seconds. That's huge. Orisa now moves 20% slower while fortified. And then Javelin Spin. Cooldown increased from 7 to 9 seconds. Yeah, that's a nerf. That's massive. One, Among that one second difference is so huge, much. by the way. Fortify is definitely nerfed. And the Javelin Spin cooldown. Remember how I talked about Orisa has like these really fast cooldown rotations? That right there, like removes that. That removes that like really good cooldown rotation that Orisa has that makes Orisa so OP. This is a good change. And I like that they, they kind of kept the long range poke and they kind of went elsewhere with the kit. So this could be interesting to where Orisa still may be a viable tank for people, but not like dominant. So this is a this is a good change. I think this is good. I mean, obviously, in about three days when Arissa is still dominating, we'll be like, oh. But like, this is actually really good. And I think this alone, truthfully, even the fortify only lasting three and a half seconds now is a huge difference. A huge difference. And then the javelin spin on top of that, that's a good change. That's a good change. All right, then we have DPS. We have Venture, a smart excavator. The maximum explosion damage decreased from 45 to 40. Drill dash, initial impact damage. Decrease from 40 to 30. And Tectonic Shock Ultimate Charge increased by 10%. So this is a straight-up nerf to Venture. They nerfed Venture. Venture's nerfed. And now, there's going to be some discussion on this, but from what I've gathered, seen in, like, YouTube comments or even when I was doing Reddit Reacts or TikTok comments, etc., it generally seems like a lot of players, in metal ranks especially, are struggling against Venture. So we may not see Venture dominating as hard in, like, a top 500 game, but... Venture in a lot of games is just going into people's back lines and just dominating. Like, you just, you have no, it's like, it is tough. I still think, and I want to add this here, I do think adding a bit more of a sound cue to Venture when they're under the ground will help alleviate some of that issue, right? I think that will help alleviate some of the issue because I feel like the problem is you don't, you can't hear Venture, right? You don't, you don't know Venture's coming until they get to like the, the explosion part where they go like, and but even then it's like, I think that is kind of where it was. So, I, you know, the good news is, is that what happens here with the Venture changes is they also do have a mid-season patch coming out in what, like two weeks? I think it's two weeks. Yeah, because two weeks today is when Top of Hunter comes out. So I'm really curious to see where it goes, but they can always revert some of these changes in two weeks. All right? And then a couple bug fixes. Wait, wasn't there something with the DPS passive? Did they not do that instead? Go down? No, there's... They, they fixed the stream remote thing. Fixed the bug that allowed you to, if you're not the leader of your party for RQ... Fixed the lighting issue that caused several sprays to look oversaturated. And they fixed something with Hanamura on the maps, but I don't... Is there anything with DPS passive here? I swear Alex Tweet said that, right? Damage roll passive healing reduction increased from 15 to 20%. Okay. Um, I know why, chat. I know why they did this. I actually... I, I know why. Okay, before we go into, like... The, the full question, 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 question mark mode. Let me ask you this question. Who'd they nerf? Who'd they nerf, chat? They nerfed Orisa, right? Which hero have we been constantly saying is, is probably overtuned and would benefit from Orisa being nerfed? Roadhog. That's why they did this. Because Hog and Mauga would be the next tanks up for survivability, so they expect it to go to an Orisa Hog meta. So because they know it's going to go Orisa Hog... They've now increased the DPS roll passive again to compensate for Arissa Hog. I mean, for Hog Mauga being meta, but then this just makes all the other tanks. I, I don't. I don't. There's got to be more coming at mid-season patch, right? Because this is a smaller patch, and it, and it definitely it got to the point of Arissa and like Venture, and I understand that. But I also this is this part's a little bit concerning because like I don't know. I don't know. We'll see. It definitely will make tanks. I mean, I know five percent doesn't seem like a lot, but like. This is, it's, it's a nerf to both the tank and then the supports who can heal the tank at that point, right? Because you're going to get the heal, the, the healing, the healing from a support will be nerfed. And then the tanks will be nerfed because they can't get their HP back. So definitely, um, definitely interesting, uh, to say the least on this one. I was very surprised by that. Uh, I, I, I didn't know if maybe what they were doing with the damage roll passive was maybe adding like an extra sentence to that of being like, hey, maybe it was kind of like, hey, by the way, you know, maybe tanks only benefit 10%. So we're, we're. Here's my take. Let's say they did damage roll reduction increase by 20%, right? And then added, like, tanks are only 10%. Then I kind of get that, right? You you add the... Oh, hi, Sully. You add the concept of 
It's good in the 1v1s. It takes away a little bit of like the issue with getting pocketed as a DPS against that. And then the tanks get a bit more healing as a trade-off, right? So I, I, I thought maybe they would keep it for the tank because you can just insert that for the tank passive. But maybe they have more plans at mid-season. But my concern is, is like they've left this for tanks for like, we're approaching almost, wow, is it really, really going to be, wait, when, when's the mid-season patch? Are we going to be about three, three and a half months now? With the with the with with the with the tank being that like kind of struggling a little bit with that passive to begin with, I'm not even talking about the 15% to 20%. I'm more thinking about like how long the passive's been in the game and how tanks have struggled for a bit on that one. So a little bit concerned about that. I'm, I'm trying to find ways. Like the only thing I can think of is is straight up, straight up. They're just doing this to uh, because they expect Hog and Mauga to be good. So because Aris is getting nerfed, this this will at least make keep Hog and Mauga at bay while they figure out what they're doing for mid season. Does that make sense? I think tanks still might struggle a bit, though. I could be wrong. I could be wrong, but I, I do think um, I do think tanks could struggle a little bit still uh, with this patch note. So, but I do like the Arista nerf. I like the Venture nerf. I think they're both going to make sense. But yeah, I, I guess I guess this 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 is the part I'm concerned about. Now it's about what are they going to do for midseason? So, so now they have to rework the tanks passive. Yeah, that's what I was that's what I was wondering when they when they announced the damage roll passive. I was like, out of curiosity, for the damage roll passive, are they going to make it so? Like, it, 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 tanks have a different benefit to it. Because, like, you you kind of see that. Isn't it, like, Ana Sleep that has that benefit? Is that correct? Like, like, it, like it, it's the... So, like, it, you could do something like that. You know how, like, Ana, Ana Sleep is, like, three and a half seconds instead of five on tanks? I thought maybe they would do something like that. Maybe the stats on tanks are different than what we're, we're, we're seeing. Maybe the feeling of what we have as a tank isn't matching up as, like, the statistics of, like, I don't know. There's a lot there. I, I Either way, chat, I got... You know, well, well, let's go to the flip side of this. Let's go to the good news. Tomorrow, when we go back on the rank grind, I won't have to play Arissa anymore. So you won't have to see Arissa. I can play more. Uh, I can pretty much play anything again as a tank. I think Mauga, Mauga and Hog will probably become really strong rank tanks, though. Especially Hog. Mauga's been nerfed, but Mauga was still being used. But I do think I should be able to get back to playing like Sigma, Diva, etc. Right now, maybe a little bit of Queen for Matra. So still a little bit concerned about the the, the, the DPS passive. But I'm happy with the, the, the change to Arissa, and I'm happy that players who have been struggling against Venture get a little bit of um, a little bit more opportunity to survive against Venture, which is nice. Oh, trust me, I don't want I don't want a ho hog in Malga meta. Oh yeah, no, I don't want I don't want. <laughs> We're good. You said the bug fixes? Yeah, yeah. I mean they fixed the the block in someone with streamer mode. If you block somebody, you could see their name, so you knew who they were, and then all this is good stuff. I mean, it's good. Real, real note though, if we want to talk about like something too, I'm still glad they do these patches. Do you get what I'm saying? Like, I'm still very happy they are willing to do like these, like these cadence patches now. Like, normally, I remember their vision, right? Their vision before was beginning the season patch, mid season patch, new season. Now they're now we've seen it frequently over the past. I want to say three seasons, where within two weeks, they're 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 making changes, right? They're making changes, so I like that. Um, obviously, I, I, like I said, I'm gonna be a bit biased with the DPS passive. The flip side of that is I like that stuff. I like that they do that. It, it really isn't, like, overall, like, not a bad patch. I'm gonna, be, I'm gonna be honest with you. I just, tanks are gonna have another couple weeks of struggling and hoping they, hopefully they can address more of the tank stuff in the mid-season patch, and my guess is they will. Actually, didn't Alec have a follow-up tweet on that one? I wanna make sure I get this right, because I, I swear I saw Alec tweet that they're gonna do the tanks. Apparently, alongside the patch tomorrow, the team is also working on some tank changes for the mid-season patch. So maybe they just want to like see how this data goes, where the meta goes, and then what they do. But it looks like it was tweeted that there will be a mid-season, like tank will be a focus during the mid-season patch, which we like to hear. I mean, I, yeah, this is going to be a hot take, but I don't necessarily mind the DPS passive. I actually understand what it's supposed to do. And I think it works for... Before, before we hop off, like talking about the DPS passive in general, it works for what it's supposed to do. It just isn't used the way that it's expected to do. And I, I hope that I'm, I'm making the correct point in that one. So the idea behind the DPS passive is to make it, there be a less frustration, a less of a frustration point for DPS when you're trying to kill some, right? And it works for that. You can have much more follow-up now. It, it, like, say you're a DPS player going against a pocketed DPS player, you feel like there's more opportunity, right? That's where it's good. But a lot of the player base just puts all their ammo into tanks. Everything goes into the tank. And that's where the... That's where the DPS passive hasn't quite hit where they want it to yet. So I'm hoping that the midseason patch will address that while maybe using the tank passive to kind of adjust that, right? Does that make sense? Does that make sense? 
So, so hopefully that's what they're doing it for, and they're, they're just... I read the 20% passive as, like, they just want to make sure that Hog and Malga are kept at bay to a certain extent. So by buffing that up, it keeps everything else how it was before. And then mid-season patch, they can address more of the issues. So, is that good? Does that, does that sound good? I, I think that's what they're doing. I obviously can't confirm or deny that. Like, I, I, there's, there's no way for me to know how they'll do that. But, like, I think that's probably what they're doing. So we'll see come mid-season patch.